Hey, Zach Dalton here with another how-to video from Rio Products. Today I'd like to talk about how I like to rig for tarpon fishing. Tarpon fishing is a total passion of mine. They're great fish. They come in a variety of sizes and if you present the fly right, a lot of times they'll eat it. I'd like to talk about the tarpon rod first. Here I've got a salt HD. We're fishing the flats of Cuba right now and we've got a lot of mixed sizes of fish. We've got fish from 10 pounds up to 80 pounds and I find that a 10 weight's a good all rounded size for that size of fish and range of fish. Next up is going to be my tarpon reel. I've got one that's got plenty of capacity here that'll handle a wide range of fly sizes, either 10, 12. It also gives me enough backing capacity where I can get 300 yards of backing on here and I use a series of very specialized knots to make sure that I've got very strong connections and for more information on that be sure, be sure to check out some of our other how-to videos on advanced knot tying. It's important to have good high quality backing. I like to use Rio's 65 pound multicolor gel spun backing. The handling characteristics of this backing material are amazing. The bright color adds a little bit of bling to your reel. After that, we've got a couple of line choices that I like to use. For 90% of my tarpon fishing, I'm going to use our standard Rio tarpon line right here. It's got a medium length belly, about 38 feet, excels at a wide range of uh, applications and conditions. But when conditions get a little bit more specialized, I like to move on to different lines to cover that other 10%. One of those lines would be the tarpon quick shooter. It's got a very short, fast loading head that works really well at distances under, say, 50 feet. Loads quickly and turns over into those tough breezes. For those other tough conditions, I've got the tarping technical here. I like to use this in flat, calm conditions. It's got a very long belly, um, so I can make longer shots. I can pick up longer lengths of line and redirect when I have moving fish. Very good for those flat, calm conditions. Then lastly, would be our new Flats Pro line. It's similar in performance to our tarpon line, but it's got a more advanced core technology. So it has an ultra low stretch core, has the little to no memory features that I find very, very appealing uh, in tarpon fishing conditions. It comes in a floating version and an intermediate stealth tip. The stealth tip's very nice if you need to get the fly down a little bit, or if you're dealing with tough windy conditions and you need to shorten up your leader. Talking about leaders, we've got a couple of different options that I like to use. We've got Rio's Tarpon Pro leader here, which is a 10-foot leader, has the butt section, midsection, and a 20-pound class section, and then a 60-pound fluorocarbon bite. We offer these in a couple of different configurations. If you're a tarpon angler that likes to build your own leaders, we've got a variety of materials that you can use for that as well. Rio's saltwater material is fantastic. Typically, I'm going to start with a 60-pound section here for my butt. I can taper that down to a 50 pound section and from the 50 pound section I'm going to run to my 20 pound class tippet here. And then on the front of that I'll use my 60 pound bite tippet here. Again for more information on how to build your own leaders there check out our how-to videos on knots. Another really important thing to helping you have a high percentage chance of catching these fish is having a clean fly line. During the day, you're not making a lot of shots on tarpon, so the line will get wet, dry with salt, wet, dry with salt. It'll start to get a little bit slow and, and sticky. I find having a fly line towelette in my pocket and utilizing this a couple of times during the day really betters your chances. It's important to have a great selection of flies here. Uh, for a variety of light conditions, fly sizes, sizes of fish. I like to use black flies early in the morning or if we've got really aggressive fish. I like some of these smaller, lighter flies for brighter conditions or laid up fish. Very important piece of equipment is having a good plier. These pliers here are saltwater proof. You're dealing with very heavy tippet material here, so you've got to use the assistance of flyers to it's fantastic to have a great pair of sunglasses. I like to carry a diff couple different colored lenses with me. I've got a low light condition and I've got these brown lenses here for all round conditions. I'll use these probably 90% of the time, but in the low light conditions I like to have those other lenses so I can get better visibility on fish when I don't have much light. 
Hopefully this rundown of all the equipment I like to use and rig for tarpon helps you have a positive experience on the flats. Thanks for watching. <laughs>